What's going on guys? Sin for the win here and we are back with our franchise mode with the Philadelphia Flyers. Now, picking up where we left off, we're hanging into the playoff position by a thread, been on a bit of a downward spiral to say the least. Alright, uh, not been doing too good lately. So, there's definitely a couple line changes I'm going to make initially and they have to mostly do with the penalty kill. Because that's, I think it's hurting us slightly, definitely. I think I've, maybe it's just, I've loaded it too much. Like, I put all the best guys there, but maybe I need some of the not as good guys there. Like, I'll keep Couturier there, but Shen, you're not, you're not, not on the power play anymore. Um, I'm going to put in some of these other guys here. Not, no, no, no. Uh, Greg Campbell? Maybe. I was thinking, I know more for one thing, Boyd Gordon's got to go in there for sure. He's uh, pretty damn good. Yeah, pretty solid defensively. Uh, Wayne Simmons. Yeah, maybe take him off because he might be just taking more penalties than anything else. I like Katria and I like Phil Pula, but no more Wayne Simmons. He's a first liner. That's a bit too much ice time at that point. Maybe Delorier. Yep, I'll throw in Delorier. So there we go. We'll have Delorier and Gordon in there now on the penalty kill. Delzato probably shouldn't be. Hmm. Maybe Wisniewski instead of Delzato. Because. Yeah, Wisniewski bit more solid on the defensive end with Snooski and Gudash and then Manning's pretty solid with uh Provorov who's learning the ropes yep we'll do that and then oh yeah I gotta make sure did I already move him up I pretty yeah I already moved him up okay he's already in the top four good all right so that's a bit of a line change I want to make now third line there's now there's a, a trade a couple trades I want to make now I was reading all your comments some people are someone saying trade Philpula for like someone like Tyson Jost now that's a move I would make if we were kind of rebuilder we're not really a rebuilder we're not crazy win now but we're not a rebuilder either we're kind of right on the cusp of becoming we're basically everyone's entering their prime all our all our main core is like guys who are in their prime and stuff like that feel sure he's on the tail end but this guy his natural progression is going to lead him down to that third line which is okay because his defensive stats are really good and he's got good poise decent enough offensive stats and i i, I like feel he's only he's making five mil for just another year after this one then we could maybe resign him for a bit less money and have him for a, maybe a year or two on the third third line which i i kind of am liking right now but yeah i do agree obviously we're gonna need some kind of a score there Konechny looking like he's moving up so maybe couturier there maybe we do end up trading shen for you know a more scoring type player and not to say shen's bad or anything but like that we're gonna have him couturier basically the same type of player so we'll pick and choose between one of these guys who we keep i may be leaning towards couturier since he's a bit more flexible in that he could play center or wing and connect me you know you know do either of those as well so but anyway that's future type thing for right now i think i want to help out this third line lofton connect and reed now reed he's okay okay defensively Great discipline, not the greatest shot. He's just kind of okay everywhere. <laughs> like, And I'm thinking I could help carry that line a bit more defensively so that when Konechny and Lofton are more, mostly Konechny helping get some goals in there and stuff like that. Um, I know Reed is supposed to, like, you know, get some, he's getting okay points. Like, don't get me wrong, this line, they're producing well. I mean, if you're just basically looking at Lofton and Reed since uh, Konechny's getting power play time. Like, they're producing okay, but they're letting a lot of goals in. Now... Uh, what I'm thinking is perhaps that I can get someone better on this third line to help out everything. Like someone who can score with the same kind of stats that this guy has on offense and everything like that. But with better defense and just a bit more solid back there defensively. And then I would consider doing that for Reed. Because I know he's got two, you know, it's, it's an okay contract. But it's not honestly that great. And then fourth line's our fourth line. They'll just kind of have to deal with it. So that's what I'm looking at right now. And I could move Gordon over. Gregory, actually, Gregory Campbell's got decent face-offs. So I'll put him in the center as he is a center. Put Boyd Gordon on the right side as a righty. I know he has better face-offs, but it's only by three. And yeah, we'll try. We'll try this out. We got to try something. We got to. We got to try something out here. So what I'm thinking is making a minor trade for Reed and perhaps a goaltending trade. And I have my eyes on someone. It's a bit of a risk though, and it almost seems like an all-in move. I'll show you to you in a sec. But first things first. Let's check out maybe we could get something for Reed here at the deadline. I don't, I'm not going to make any major, major moves for forward. Like, I'll all right, I'll check out Tyson Jost here. All right, I'll, I'll check him out. But I'll see what he could bring. Like, 
yeah, we could take a chance on you know, a red guy. But at the same time, it's like we also just will take away a roster player for a guy who might or might not get good. And that's, uh, that's like I said, a rebuilding move. Yeah, he is good, man. I'm not going to lie. 80 at 18. Yeah, he's, he's solid. I can't, I can't lie about that. But they don't want to give him up, and I'd have to probably overextend a really good amount to get him. Good two-way forward. Good defensively. As a red minor scorer, I could probably play him on the fourth line immediately. He could get away with it, to be honest. I could scratch Campbell. This guy could get away with it. I'm not going to lie. He does look pretty tasty. Thing is, when you think about it, like, it, yeah, this is, it would be tough to get this guy. Yeah, they got, they got a lot of centers, but at the same time, maybe they might move out to Shane. Ooh. Man. Thing is, ah, do I want, like, do I giving up Philpula for that? Philpula, man. The, the value's there. They don't want him. And it makes sense because they're a bit of a rebuilder team. Ugh. I don't feel completely good about it. I'm not going to lie because then and we don't have a second line anymore. It, basically, if we do this, we, we are, we're saying we're not going to go for the playoffs this year. And I don't know if I want to quite do that quite yet. We did pick up Tuck, or Tuck, I guess you guys were saying. Tuck, 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 Mother Tuck, Mother Tuck. Noise, noise, noise. Alrighty. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. So he's perhaps a future second, third liner. Mm, I, I'm just thinking, I'm, I, like, I, I'm not going to lie. That, he, he looks like a great player. And I could put him on the fourth line, and he could be okay there as the, as the red, you know. But also, he could not get good, and then we trade away of someone. Ugh. I don't know, guys. It's it seems like a kind of hefty trade right there. And Phil Pill is the kind of guy who's okay for the second line right now, and he could play third line as well. And he's got decent poise to him, and everything like that. And He's just like a great overall, like all around player for us. And it seems like almost a rebuilding move to make that. And again, he might not pan out. And the guy's a center as well. So, I mean, he could play wing, obviously. Anyone could play wing. You just throw him on the wing. But would he, would it be worth it for him to play wing? He's another two-way forward. It's like a straight up two-way forward for a future two-way forward type deal. Lefty could play on the left side. Offensive stats look okay. I wish his awareness was a bit better. His passing's all right. Does, is it going to show me his AHL stats? or No, no. Oh, what the hell? How's he in the... How the hell is he in the AHL? He's 18. Mm, okay. <laughs> what? I'm not too sure how they pulled that off. Okay. I'm not... I'm actually... I don't know how they did that. Or maybe that's just showing me his junior stats, but saying it's AHL. Like, straight up, it might work, but it also probably won't work. And, like I said, who goes on to that second line at that point? Reed? We trade some more stuff for another second line? Or, like, like I said, if we make this trade, we're basically saying we're not going for the playoffs. And I'm not going to make that trade quite yet. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll, I'll continue to think about it. But, all right, Reed, we got to find a better third liner here. Someone who could help carry this team. Or that third, not the team. Carry the third line, basically. Okay, um... I don't see any of those kind of guys right here. They don't want to give anyone up to. Como would be great, not going to lie. He looks really good. He has about the same kind of offensive stats. He's a two-way forward. He's solid defensively, good physically. Decent discipline, not the greatest. He's got 40 penalty minutes. It's a bit. It's a bit, but could work. They don't want to give him up, and a straight-up trade might actually work. They want Reed. They don't want to give up Como. Oh, he's made. They're baking. Oh, Como's actually got a really nice contract. 2.4 for two mil two years. That's a really nice contract. We'll save even more money like this. Hmm. I don't think that goes through straight up, and I, I wouldn't give up anything else. But I'm going to try that. Como looks really solid. He looks extremely solid. He's decent enough offensively. Got a decent shot. Produces pretty much kind of the same as uh, Reed is producing. A little less, but he looks like he could still... He's a minus, but the team's a bad. The team's bad as well, so maybe I'll I'll hold off on that though for now. I want to I want to look around, make sure I'm getting the right kind of guy there. 
Okay. Uh, let's just look at forwards. That makes it easier. Okay. No one there. They're all kind of eclectic mix of old and young there. Brower, too good. Versteeg? Versteeg? And eh, no, he's another sniper anyway, too. Yeah, not quite. All right, how about Columbus? What do you guys got for me? Nothing really. Yeah, nothing really. Ka. Stepniak, nah. Yeah, the guys I'm thinking of probably won't want to be traded. Um, because I'm thinking of guys to like are like Benino, like those kind of guys, like like a Beninos and stuff like that. Who, yeah. And it wouldn't make sense because they're already on like you know teams, <laughs> teams that are basically playoff teams. But Como, I mean, we could do it straight up for that. I mean, I should probably just look at every. I was looking at teams where at least this guy was on the block, and that's kind of what I'm doing. All right, no, 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 none of these guys. Yeah, not, not any of those guys. Yeah, it's going to be interesting, but Callahan, is he third line? Yeah. Pretty damn solid. Same kind of deal, but that's, I think, too much value. And his contract, yeah, that's way, no, that's way too much. I'm really thinking Como might be the best guy here for the job. And go for Hansen. What's he being paid, though? Ooh, that's really good. Super solid player, too. Decent discipline, good poise, decent offensive stats, decent shot. Really good defensive stats. He's physical. Okay. Again, but that's a player that they probably don't want to give up since they look like a good team. Yeah, that's too. That's way too much value. Yeah, I think Como is going to be our best bet here. Tommy Wingles. Why is he 85 in this game? <laughs> I could pick up Tommy Wingles, but that's probably too much value. Oh, really good deal, though. I'll have to pay him a bunch more next year. Like, yeah. But, holy hell. Like, this could be the guy that carries the rest of this. Damn. Why is he an 85 in this game? <laughs> no offense to the dude. I love him, but I don't really think he's an 85. Interesting, though. Really good defensive stats. Decent. Oh, man. Could I get that? Straight up? Maybe not, but I would. We'd have to pay him more money, though, next year. Like, that's the thing. The reason I liked Como, because we kind of have two years with him at a really good price. And this is kind of like we'll have Wingles for one year. And we'll have to, if we want to sign him, we'll have to sign him for about four or five mil. By the way, by, judging by his overall. And I don't think that's quite worth it. So, I like him, but we'd have to throw an extra anyway. He wouldn't just go for that. Eves? Perhaps. Perhaps Eves? interesting one year left at one mil hmm yeah this could be a guy who helps carry that line for sure bit more of a veteran presence there i like it could it go straight up though that's the question looks like it could go straight up all right well Eves for Reed straight up, I would do that. And if, if he does start declining, again, we, he moves out after this year. Really good defensively, good offensively, and an okay shot. I don't think that goes through straight up, though. I'll try it, but I don't think it goes through. Nah, no. I think Como is still going to be the only one we could really make go through realistically. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of stop looking around. I, it's got to be Como, man. He was just super solid. Yeah, I just, I gotta go for that. It's, it was perfect. Yeah, let's go for that. Try to get it straight up. Uh, it might not go through straight up, but we'll try. It did. Oh, sweet. That's the, yeah, that's perfect. Straight up trade. Read for Como. That helps us out a crap ton right there. Like, a lot. I'm not even kidding. Like, that is gonna be huge. I think that could really boost up that third line. Just make them a bit more solid defensively, and that's really all we need. So, let's throw in Como. Substitute all lines. Was he on the power play or penalty kill? Defenseman, what? Why the hell? 
I'm a little, why did that get removed? <laughs> what? Interesting. Hold on. What the hell? Delzato. Who am I? Why is it doing that? Hold on. That's throwing me the hell off. What? what why would it remove a defenseman there? Wisniewski, Gudash, Manning. So... Oh, there's no Wisnew. What the hell? Okay, why? I'm not too sure what the hell is going on there. Did I actually have a forward in there? I might have messed up something when I did the initial line changes. That's all I could think of right now is that I somehow messed something up because that's there's no reason why that guy should be gone. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my goodness, I don't even know. But there we are. Yeah. What the hell's going on? Vorchek's in here. Yeah, no, something weird happened. This wasn't... What the hell? <laughs> and this shouldn't have been happening all year, but it might have been happening all year, which would be very stupid if it was happening all year. Anyway, that should be sorted. I'm, I'm not too sure why there's a forward in some defensive slots, but I definitely didn't do that. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, we got that sorted. Anyway, Blake Como. He should perhaps help carry this line a bit more. That's what I'm hoping for. More, more solid defensively. Just help him out a bit. A bit of age, a bit of experience there. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, shut up. I'm not going in. Sorry, my work's calling me. Probably trying to get me to go in. Not happening. Anyway, um, all right. Sorry about that. I uh, had to get my phone on silent and stuff like that. Anyway, um, where the hell was I? Anyway, yeah. Como should have carry that line. Now, the other thing I was considering, perhaps a goalie thing. Now, it seems like an all-in thing to do, but the thing about Mason is he's trash. He's sorry. He's been really trash this year. And like, if he had two years on his deal, I'd be like, okay, he's having an off here. Let's try him next year and then trade him. But the thing is, we're going to have to re-sign him. All right. We're going to have to re-sign the guy. So let's see. Oh, they don't want, oh, they don't even want to get, okay. Usually they want to give a blue Wongo. <laughs> and so I was going to be like, I could do that and hope he doesn't retire. But again, like I said, that six years left, what? At 36, <laughs> what? <laughs> Really? Is that a real... That's not fake? 43. You're paying a guy to become 43 as a goaltender. Okay. All right. Um, That threw me off. So, okay. Now, what we're going to look for is someone to perhaps be a goalie. I'm still tripping out over that. Sorry. Six years left for Luongo. All right. Um, The way it's looking, though, I mean, no one else could really jump in like we'd have to train someone that's why I was and that's the reason I was thinking Luongo because we could also just go for Corpus Allo <laughs> and be like yo is he listed as a backup yep how many games he has played just 11 that's good because if we if he actually splits time with what's his name it'll be perfect but the thing is that ain't gonna happen, man. Like, we, we can't throw in Mason and throw in some other stuff to try to get. We can do, like, Mason, Stallers, but that's not even close to enough value. And they'd have too many goalies and stuff like that. So, we, we almost have to wait for a guy like that to hit free agency. So, unfortunate, but can't work, basically. So, I'm thinking Mason and... Let me just throw in Mason for now. Alright, so, if we're looking at Mason, we're trying to find someone to replace him to be better. Laner, they don't want to give up. Makes sense. He's their growing team. None of these guys want to give anyone up. Mike Smith, not good enough. Bruins, they don't have anyone. I mean, they got Rask, but you're not going to get too Rask. Like, no, the thing about all these teams is you're not going to get any of these guys. Like, none of these starting goalies you're really going to have a chance to get uh, because they're starting goalies in the NHL. So, I mean, oh my gosh. What the hell is going on? Can't do it. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, sorry. It's coming from my computer. Like I have my phone on silent, but now it's coming from my goddamn computer. Fuck man. All right. Um, yeah, like I said, you're not going to get any of that. You have to get an older guy. So it's like, we kind of have to settle for trying to use Mason and yeah. And we kind of have to wait for heart. Now that's the reason I was considering going for someone like Luongo and then hoping he doesn't retire is because yeah, the, th the problem with that is, is, like, that contract, though. If he just starts sticking around like Erickson did, that's what I'm afraid of. Like, if he starts sticking around like Erickson did. 
So, yeah, it's a bit of an issue, man, I'm not going to lie. Or we could pick up Marc-Andre Fleury for three more years. It's actually not a bad idea. They don't want to give him up. They want to give up Murray over Fleury. Completely unlike real life here. I mean, maybe Murray gets really good. I doubt it. I, I, I don't, I've never really seen this guy get incredibly good. And we're basically trading to trade in that sense. I wouldn't... if. <sighs> Hold on. About Flurry. Stolars and Mason. Straight up, that does not go through. Eh, yeah, that's there's. I don't. How am I gonna get this to go through? They would have a good one-two punch, and they can get rid of Mason next year. Like it makes sense, actually. This does make a whole lot of sense. What else could I throw in? I, I'm actually really liking this get flurry over here cousins we could throw cousins in because we're not using cousins and we we're considering trading him before yeah he's the playmaker guy we're not going to use cousins all right let's throw in cousins that should make it go through and try to get some other stuff back now three years left it's perfect i'm thinking because in that time heart should be starting to come up and make and replace him so let me try i can't pick up a second there's no way i'll get a second but let me try to pick up a third I don't even think I'll be able to get that. But Mason, Stallars, and Cousins for Mark andre Fleury and a third. Stallars, we're not going to use. Mason, obviously, trying to get rid of him. And we'll have Neuvirth still as the backup. We'll have a solid runs with Fleury. Now, this is way less of an all-in than going for Luongo is. But it puts us in a way better position because Fleury should have really good poise, which he does. Mason has good poise, too, but he's not playing too well this year. Not too sure what it is. Fleury's playing way better. So we'll try to get this. Not quite. I don't think it's going to work. I'll remove that third. Ugh, the woefully insufficient. <sighs> I can throw in some garbage picks, to be honest, because it's it's worth it to me in this case. We do have two thirds. We could throw in ours and hope Boston's still a bad team. But in that case, I'd want to take back. They don't have fours. Take back a three from next year. It's got less value. That's It's closer, but not quite yet. Okay. They have no fours. Where's all your fours at, man? <laughs> Whatever, man. Give me a five. I don't care. Ottawa's five. I want something back for this. I'm going to make this trade. I don't know if I could get this at all. If I do it straight up, maybe. No, still not. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those things where they don't want to give them up, so we can't get them. Ugh. Mark andre Fleury would be freaking perfect, though. I'm not going to give up anything more than a third, though. That's not worth it. If I start giving up seconds and stuff for that guy, it's not quite worth it. He's great. Don't get me wrong, but not quite worth thirds and stuff like that. Let me just keep looking. Craig Anderson probably won't work. They probably don't want to give him up. I mean, like, again, like, it makes sense. None of these guys want to be given up. I mean, they're freaking starting goaltenders. So, I mean... You have to come across a team that's like rebuilding, wanting to give up a goaltender. And unfortunately, in the first year, no one really is at that point. And the only guy who would really make any sense was uh, Luongo. And that's an all-in type of move. So goaltender-wise, we just can't get one by the looks of it. There's no one here we could even make trades for to get. Uh, it's just... Bi oh, whoa, whoa, I, oh my god, I forgot about Bishop. He's only slightly better though. Like That's the thing, he's only a little bit better. He's only a little... But again, that could make all the difference. Maybe. It might make all the difference. He is playing good this year. Only 11 games played, though. So he's like in a weird backup role. Hold on. They want to give him up. It seems like a trade to make a trade almost, though. Value. They don't want Mason either. And it makes sense. Like, <laughs> you want to give a Bishop. You don't want Mason back. Oh, my gosh. But let's see what we could do. They don't want Stallers. Let me see if I can just chuck in a pick, like a third. That should make it go through, but again, if they don't want Mason, they might not want this to go through. Only one year left, so we'd have to resign the guy. And he is 30. So, if he plays well, then we can hold on to him, you know what I mean? And we can wait for... Hmm, I'm just trying to think if this is worth it. Mason's doing terrible, you can't lie about that. Maybe Bishop will do better with us. You know what, I'm going to do it. Not, not a third, though. I don't really feel comfortable with a third. Can I do something later, like a four? Maybe a couple, maybe those fives or something. Yeah, let me start with those fives first. I don't necessarily want to give up all this stuff. Let me go with a five. 
I can throw in a five and a six. I'll do that too. Okay, so there we are. Mason and a five for Bishop. Okay, so we improved our goalie situation. Mason was doing terribly. It almost, at some point, it kind of seems a bit weird. But, again, he's not doing well at all. So trading away a quality player. How about trading for a quality player? No, none of that. None of that good morale. Okay. Well, throwing Bishop here. Now we got to hope he does better. And he should. And he's slightly older, but it fits into our scheme of uh, we could sign him again for a couple years and it'll still fit into our scheme of waiting for Hart to get good. Okay. And I think that's the two trades I want to make. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do Jost for Philpula. I, it's just, we don't have anyone for that second line here. And since we just made a couple trades to help us become a better team, basically, I don't, I'm not going to make that trade right now. And it's a risk too. Like you don't know if that red's going to get good. It looks like he will, but they could fall flat. I mean, Sergachev. <laughs> he got really good for us once and one time not. So I think that's what we're going to do there. And those are the big trades we're going to make here at the deadline. A lot of wheeling and dealing there, but I think we came successful. We basically swapped goalies, Mason, and threw it like for Bishop. Slightly better. Hopefully he plays a bit better on our team. Now it's always rough when you make trades at the deadline, especially for a key position position like that so again it could help us it could not but we did make a couple trades that we're hoping help us all right and if we can make the playoffs then yeah it's not and it's not an all-in move either by any means we're just trying to improve our goaltender situation all righty so i think we could just sim to the end of the season here now all right we will do that and hopefully we play a lot better now with bishop and net fingers crossed watch us play worse no we get a win there good job Florida, win them, beat them. There you go, a couple wins to start off, only allowing one goal in each game. So that's a good start, but <laughs> it's a really good start, uh, but I'm not getting my hopes up. This team's been really inconsistent, so there's a loss right there. Are they going to answer back with a win? That's the biggest question. We do, actually. We haven't been able to do that too much in this season. We've been winning some, then losing some. We lose again. Can we come back with a win, or are we going to start streaking? All right, we'll come back and we'll win. We're looking a bit better. Pittsburgh's a great team. We lose to them, but we get a point, and then we get two points out of Jersey. 38, 26, and 6, looking slightly better. If we just keep on this pace, we'll definitely be a playoff team. Blake Como gaining morale because of recent performance. That's good. I'm thinking these changes should help us out. I mean, hey, we should. they shouldn't harm us by any means. So we went to Russia. There's an A- minus here, but I mean, yeah, well, well who is he? Let's just go here for a week. Let's find out what he's about. All right, we lose right there. Come back against Winnipeg. Beat them. They're a good team, too. All right, Minnesota. All right, yeah, we're all right. We're 40 wins, 40, 27, and 6. We're definitely doing better with Bishop and Como on our team. It just, it, our record looks better. It feels better in the sim as well. It could be just my imagination, but sometimes you need those little changes. A lot of guys here, so I just got, sim, like, they're all Bs left, so... We can't really try to like, oh man, there's a few losses in a row. <laughs> I was talking so good about, <laughs> god damn it. Now we got, now, now the losing streak start again. Stop it. Come on now, Philly. Win the rest of this season. Come on now. All right. Lost there in overtime. Oh my God. Not This is the wrong time to be losing games right here. Completely wrong time to be losing games. We, we're in danger of falling out, man. Win. There you go. Ooh. We gained locker room. I didn't see a message for us making the playoffs. I think we should have, though. I don't think we should. Yeah, we, okay, we made it. We got to face Pittsburgh in the folk. Oh, what a rivalry matchup. So we did make the playoffs. Uh, the, probably the wild card slot. And, yeah, we, I think we still did better, though, with Bishop in that. It just, I think we still did better. I think the pace we were on, we were probably fixing the fall out of the playoffs with Mason and Net. I don't know. I could be, like I said, it could have been a non-trade, but at the same time, it's not when we, we gave up anything major. Only 91 point season. Not great. Good scoring wise. Still not keeping the puck out of the net. Well, power plays good. Penalty kills still not good either. So <laughs> yeah, the last 10, we didn't have a good stretch. We had a great stretch in there and then we fell off again. So still a streaky team. It feels like, but again, Bishop, you just, I don't know. Could be better. All right. Giroux though. Point of game player, 37 goals, 46 assists. Voracek, 25 goals, 56 assists. Not quite a point of game player, but close enough. 72 points for Simmons. Konechny, a 60-point season. 
at minus 10, but that was better than his plus minus before, wasn't it? I feel like it was. Como was, I don't know. I feel like their plus minus improved slightly. Maybe they didn't, but they didn't get worse at least. <laughs> That's one thing to take away from it. Couturier, 57 points. Yeah, man, C Connect needed killer. Like, I know so many of those points have got to be from the power play, but still, I don't care. That's why I have him on the power play. He should get a fat jump for next year. Be at least a second liner. All right. Um, Ghost of Spare, 50 points, 87 Provorov. Wisniewski, not bad. And goaltender-wise, can't really judge by Bishop. Ned, no shutouts. It looked like his stats got worse on our team, actually. <laughs> it actually looks like his stats got worse on our team. Oh, my God. I think it's our... Yeah, it's good. Then, then in that case, it's got to be our defense, which we kind of traded a guy to make a trade in that case. But, like I said, it's it's not like anything changed in that case. And we only gave up a fifth. So, we're not... It's not like we crippled ourselves. But I tried to mix something up. Didn't quite work by the looks of it. But whatever. What can you do? Defell, oh my god, our fourth line though. Fourth line, I thought, ugh, they needed to be better, yeah. I mean, they're all great defensively, so I mean, I don't know why they're doing so terrible. <laughs> they're really all good defense, like, those are great for defensive stats. Why, uh, I'm not too sure. Whatever. All right, well, that was our team. We did make the playoffs. I'm not, I'm not envisioning a deep run, especially going up against Pittsburgh in the first round, but you know. We'll give it our best. Kane, wow, 40 goal score, 50 assist, man, 96 points. Backstrom, 76 assists for 90 points. Panarin, 87 points, stupidest trade ever. Uh, Sagan, 87 points. Steen, 85. Ovechkin, 84. 63 goals for Ovechkin. That's insane. Definitely the goal leader. By a long shot, 15. <laughs> long shot right there. Okay. Oh, wait, I shouldn't. I was supposed to check defenseman. Whoopsies. Sorry, not you yet, goalies. It's not going to be any of us by any means, but you know. All righty. Uh, OEL. All right, finally. This guy, I feel like in all of my franchises, he's always on like, he never has won the Norse, but he's always kind of right there. But I think he should win it in this year. Uh, he's, yep, eight points ahead of people. Decent enough, plus minus. Um, Clutch. Let's see his uh, defensive stats. More hits than Carlson. More takeaways in Carlson. Better ratio by the looks of it. Yeah. Oliver Ekman, Lars for the Norris. Good job. Finally. I always feel like that guy's always in like second or third place when I see him up there in the top. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh my God. Jonathan Quick, Vesna. No question. That's silly. That's just silly. Yeah. Okay. Vesna. <laughs> 70 games played. Under two goals against average. Yeah, right. Not anymore, Quick. A couple years ago. Yeah, but not anymore. Alrighty, yeah, I would have loved to get Flurry, but it made sense why they wouldn't want to give him up. Plus, we're right in the division, too, so. Alright. Alright, so. Playoffs are going to begin next. I'm not, like I said, we're probably going to get first round exited right here against Pittsburgh, but, uh. <laughs> I tried to improve us slightly and not give up too much at the same time. We got, you know, we, we still even freed up more cap space. Not so much with Bishop, but, um. With the third line swap for Como, that freed up more cap space, about a million, which covers the uh, the the difference between Mason and Bishop, and should else also help cover when we need to resign him. And like I said, we do have leeway as well. So, all right, we're gonna end this here. Playoffs are coming up next. Let me know what you thought about the trades. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm not too sure. Like I said. I don't know. Tyson Jost, we could always, they could always get him in the future, but that seemed like more of a rebuild move to make at this time. So didn't quite want to make it. I wanted to give us a chance in the playoffs here. So we'll see what happens. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one.